हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द अप्रूवल प्रोसेस एंड टाइमलाइन रिक्वायर्ड फॉर एन डी ए न्यू ड्रग एप्लीकेशन राइट सो नाउ द टाइम हैज कम लाइक द आई एन डी ए इट हैज बीन कंप्लीटेड द क्लिनिकल ट्रायल हैज बीन डन नाउ द पर्टिकुलर स्पॉन्सर और मैन्युफैक्चर और द पर्टिकुलर कंपनी हैज टू फाइल एन डी ए right so that it can be marketed and the profit can be achieved by the sponsors right so let's uh, begin with the process here uh, the heading is the approval process and timeline involved in nda new drug application right so what is nda the nda application is the vehicle through which the drug sponsor formally proposed the that the fda for approve a new drug for sale and marketing ultimately this much investment has been done right from the discovery right from the pre clinical trials then clinical trials now the time has come to earn by the particular manufacturer or pharmaceutical company so how they are going to process it the applicant the sponsor or the manufacturer they have to file nda new drug application to fda food drug and administration right then it will be forwarded to the cder like center for drug evaluation and research there uh, it will be review and it will they are going to check the filing eligibility whether the drug is having all the required evidences documentation or not they are uh, going to see the eligibility if it is if the particular application it is eligible the applicable for filing if they find they can proceed further if they find it is not applicable for filing they will inform the applicant the sponsor the manufacturer and further it will go for ratification what are the deficiency it is there that they are going to uh, ratify and further they can apply if they find here it is uh, uh, applicable for the filing it will forward it to the reviewers the team will be there in fda they are going to review and submit the report again to the cde or the center for drug evaluation and research they are going to if they find a uh, fail here once again right after with uh, after going through all the documentation which has been submitted along with the application uh, if they if it is fail inform about the deficiency to the applicant those who are applied to them they are going to inform that these are the information it is not there the safety profile efficacy profile the clinical trial data into the preclinical animal model toxicity there are there are long list of parameters if anything it is missing if it anything anything it is doubtful they they will inform the applicant applicant amend documents to resolve the issue again they will go further to the preclinical uh, and the clinical phase where particular lacuna is there they are going to ratify and further and uh, we, if the uh, submitted report if they find the cde or they find if it is okay they will pass for marketing approval or else it will go through this way right uh, directly from here it can pass or after ratification it will pass and ultimately it will be approved for marketing for the sale and uh, it will launch into the market and uh, it will be into their name and all the profit it is going to go with them right so this is the process in this uh, what is happening actually once fda receive an nda right new drug application the team is going to review in this way right and it takes 6 to 10 months the timeline because here timeline involved in nda 6 minimum and 10 month maximum it is going to take to make a decision on whether to approve the drug or not right because uh, uh, this entire process it is having this uh, step by step process where it is going to have how much time so it is minimum 6 month and maximum 10 month Apa after that uh, the whatever the decision it is coming they will going to reveal to the applicants and uh, further it will go on uh, depend on the decision taken thank you